why this song is unique. Hi, I'm Lance. And I'm Ben. And we are Clickfoot. Welcome to episode number five of Why This Song is Unique. Today, we are going to talk about the song I Am Not In Love from 10CC's 1975 album, the original soundtrack. I have the vinyl of this. I love this record. Personally, 10CC is one of my favorite bands of all time. I don't think they get near enough credit. Although I will say they did get some exposure in 2014 with the Guardians of Galaxy soundtrack. So that that brought to them a whole other audience of younger people, which I think is fabulous. The, uh, the band consisted of Eric Stewart, Graham Gouldman, Kevin Godley, and Lol Cream. So it's four guys that created this masterpiece. Actually, all their albums, to me, are masterpieces. But today, why this song is unique is I'm Not In Love, and why is this song unique? If you've never heard it, I'm amazed. Before you even watch this video, you might want to go down and click the link in this and go listen to it so that when you're listening to what we say about it, you understand what we're talking about. Ben puts the link in. We have an entire YouTube channel that's only built for these songs. They're placed there just so you can go find them and listen to them. Right. What made it so unique is in the early 70s, uh, most recording studios were owned by corporations. These guys owned their own recording studio, which allowed them endless amounts of time to be creative, and they used it to the highest degree. One of the things that really makes this tune stand out is the vocals. When you listen to them, you hear these floating vocals that go through the entire song. We would do that today with a sampler, vocals, and a keyboard, and it would be accomplished much quicker than what these guys did. They had to record each vocal. They did uh, three octaves. They would record it, put it on a loop, and then have the loop play around in a circle. So let's say they recorded the vocals 30 times for one set of sounds. Then they put it on a tape machine, looped it, and then brought it back into the mixing console and used the sliders to slide that chord up and down. So if you were in C, you slid up a C chord. If you were in C minor, you would slide up the C minor chord. The whole band would stand at the console and play the mixing console, not a keyboard or anything else, a mixing console as an instrument. Wow. It was the keyboard. That's just bizarre. Nobody had ever done that. That's the first time that ever happened, that somebody decided to do an entire song using a mixing console as the keyboard. Then what really made the song work, and that's why you hear these vocals, they sound so ghostly and, and floating, they did over 600 vocals to get those pad tracks that you're listening to in the song, which gives it such an ethereal dream quality. It can't be beat. It's just one of the most unique things you've ever heard. And then I think... The trick of all tricks that they ever did was they went in to their offices and got their secretary and told her to come out and say these words into the microphone in a whispered voice. Shh, Shh be quiet. Big, big boys, boys don't cry. cry. That, if anybody if you heard it the first time back in the 70s, we all went, what was that? I'll never forget that. Never heard anything like that. And uh, it's a hook all by itself. It's just a hook that everybody waits for. And so that they took that slider, loops, mixing console, 600 vocals, and crafted a master hit, and then came back in, because their initial thought was, let's just do it as a vocal, a complete vocal, a cappella vocal tune. They came back and put a, a, a Rhodes electric piano, a bass, and a drum, doing a very simple beat, uh, mostly kick, tied it all together and gave you this ethereal sound. And I personally would vote this one of the two greatest songs ever recorded. The other one would be Bohemian Rhapsody. And both of them came out almost exactly at the same time. So 1975. Yeah, something in the water going on in England when this was happening. <laughs> because uh, both tracks are so unique and you can't say they're not. They're that so that's why i call this one of the most unique songs ever recorded why it's worth your time to go listen to it come back and listen to what we're saying so you understand and if you're a, a singer and a songwriter and a record producer and you're running out of ideas listen to this song study it and uh it might help you craft something beyond your wildest dreams that's it we'll put a link down below in the description to take you right to the song that's it for today i'm lance and i'm ben and we're out of here, here. Why this song is unique